Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the NECA Toys Aliens Creature Pack. I am so in love with these. I'm so glad that NECA is releasing kind of little expansion kits little add-ons for the existing figures that they have been releasing. In this case, you have two stasis chambers. You have what appears to be three, or sorry, four face huggers and two chest bursters. It's perfect uh, for setting up a diorama. I probably will want to maybe get a, a handful of these and have a, a nice little display going on here. Uh, the back of the package kind of shows you what you can do with them, although the bottom base here doesn't really come with the set. You're only really getting these here. So let's celebrate the 30th anniversary of Aliens with this creator uh, creature pack. Stasis chamber lights up uh, and face huggers are removable. Uh, face huggers and chest burster have bendable tails and enhance your dioramas and displays with this awesome collection. And then you've got a 30th anniversary logo down there for Aliens. Figures are sold separately. To check out more from the folks over at NECA, Make sure you head over to www.necaonline.com. Spot's going to take a break, get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Aliens Creature Pack. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. One thing you can actually do is if you take the packaging apart, it does give you a diorama back card, uh, you know, back card section that you could take the stasis pods. We'll just move everything out of the way here. You could take the stasis pods and technically have them in here. It's makeshift, yes, but it does give you a little something in the meantime until you've got a full diorama going on here. You could actually even just lay, open up this, the corners, lay it flat, and then put stuff in, in the foreground with the stasis pods on top. Then this will showcase a nice little background for you as well. A couple of different options that you can do there. Let's remove these. We'll move this out of the way. All right, so included in the creature pack, you will get the following. You get two stasis pod chambers. Um, I have removed one. I haven't removed this one, but there's a little uh, plastic uh, obstructing piece of plastic there to prevent the battery from, from going on. Just going to pull that, and there's a little button on the underside. Luckily, NECA has already included batteries, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries. Just flip that on, and you've got a very bright light at the base of the stasis pod, or stasis uh, chamber there. And there's another one there as well. Now, imagining, if you will, these are fairly inexpensive too. Uh, they're about $8 to $10 if you can find them in retail or comic book stores. That's where I found these. But imagining, if you will, if you have a, a series of these running down the sides, you know, and then you had characters in the middle. Very cool display. Very, very cool. Go ahead and just switch those off. Now, the face huggers are removable, but they're not the easiest to remove, to be honest. There's all these, which you probably can't see too well, but there's all these little clear elastics. You need to take these elastics off first. I'll do it on one so I can show you here. Take the elastics all off. And if you don't damage the elastics, there's nothing really to say that you can't put them back on. And then you can remove this. Now, being careful, because I found getting these back in, sometimes they don't sit in their holes properly. And then from there, you can pull out the face hugger. Just like that. The face hugger really is no different than the standalone face huggers other than the fact that the tails are curled up now the tails are obviously wire framed so it's not to say that you don't have to you know you could easily just replace any of the face huggers with the ones that you've taken out but they are exactly the same to one another fantastic though detailing on the face huggers we've seen these guys before grotesque on the underside there I love that they've given them a wet wash to them so that they look, you know, slick, they look slimy, they look alive. The leg components are not adjustable in any way at all. These are just rubbery. It's primarily just the tail itself that's a wire frame. And you get two of those. We just slide that one back in. 
no real rhyme or reason. You could have it facing upward if you want to have it, or really you can have it kind of, you know, again, like kind of more as if it's facing the glass. Let's see if I actually do that. There we go. And then we can just put this back on. Now to do that, you wanna make sure that these little holes are lined up to the posts. It seems easy enough, but I've had a couple of these little posts pop off in the process. I want to line them all up to the holes. There we go. And there we go. All right. And then again, you just switch those on. So you get two of those, two stasis pods, both light up. Uh, two face huggers inside, two standalone face huggers. Again, nothing different between these. Again, they have that wire frame. Sometimes the wire frame you do have to be careful of, though consistent bending of the tail, you may start seeing a little bit of the paint where the bend is happening to start flaking a little bit. I've had that happen with previous face huggers, and though it has not happened with these necessarily just yet, maybe over, over the course of time, you might find a little bit of paint or a little bit of that, that uh, not lacquer, but the little the clear coat that they put over top of it, you might start seeing that a little bit flake from, uh, from excessive bending. So just, just kind of keep those in mind. So you get two of those. You know what, for the rest of this review, I'll just I'll switch these both on just for dramatic effect. Then the other thing you get as well is you get two chest bursters, which look like they are identical to one another. Nothing different between the two. Uh, they've also striped them, or not so much striped them because it's not a, a, a clean stripe, but they've added this this red, additional red to it as well. Just give it a more gruesome, bloodied effect. And actually, you know what, for how small these are, let's see if I can get the camera actually in there. There we go. Ah, technology. There's a real close-up look at his face, at its face. It's a slimy, grotesque-looking character. Just think that that would be coming out of somebody's chest. Uh, you do get two of these as well. And like the face huggers, they are also bendable. But the same caution I think I could make for the face huggers, I'll make also for the chest bursts. Just be very careful that the uh, that that clear coat doesn't start flaking after a while. Uh, this is a particular set which it may not cater to every collector. Uh, I but the 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 sell point obviously for me or the actual chambers. I think if they had just sold the chest bursters and just a, a series of face huggers, as good as that might be, we do get a lot of these with uh, the individual alien releases. The, the money for me is these, you know? And, and even then, it may not be to everyone's catering because not everybody sets up diorama displays. You might get some collectors that actually just stand their figures up on a shelf and that's really all they need. Um, I think this is kind of geared more towards the people that like to get the really cool setups going. Uh, maybe if anything, you could pick up two of these or the set of two here, and then you could just have them on the sides with a couple of aliens in the middle. But for the more experienced and dedicated collectors, uh, I could easily see someone getting like just dozens of these and just have them kind of placed around in a diorama with some aliens and, and, uh, and Marines kind of, you know, sprinkled in between them. They're fun, they're awesome, and I really like the fact that uh, NECA would have uh, released these. It goes to show that NECA really is aware that collectors like to make dioramas, and this is exactly what these are geared towards. Uh, today's toy spot, we were looking at the, uh, the new NECA toys. This was the Aliens Creature Pack. Certainly a really fun pack. Uh, again, really relatively inexpensive as well. They're about, about $10 or so for this set. So you could army build them, I probably not use the term army build for these, but you could certainly pick up more of these and have a really nice display going on. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more videos. He does. More videos are heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.